Uncle C back in the office and in today's video I'm going to be discussing front end game in 2022 A through Z what you have to do with a woman to go from hello all the way to scoring a date and ultimately making sure that you're the type of man that she wants to see continuously even potentially have intimacy with. This video, I have never done a play-by-play -play like this, okay? And I took this, you know, I, I got a straight line going right here with a little arrow, similar to like Jordan Belfort's straight line method when he talks, if any of you watch him, I love the guy. But the cool thing with this is I thought about this today, I'm like, so many men in the comment section, they talk about what is front end game? How, how do I increase my front end game such as my seduction, right? My, my verbals, my speaking. So what I did was I took it upon myself today. I literally mapped out an exact straight line sequence. Every checkpoint you're going to have to hit with a woman that you're engaging in a verbal interaction to go from hello all the way to her actually liking you. Guys, without further ado, let's dive in. Now, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Casey Zander. I'm the founder of Headman. I'm here to revitalize masculinity and help make men full stack. So, to preface this whole video, okay, I need you to know this because there's so many guys out there, they claim, oh, I can't talk to the girl that I like because I don't have enough money, I don't have enough status, I don't have enough uh, authority in my industry. I, okay, let me preface this. You can do this whole method, there is no excuses. I can do this in a beat up brown t-shirt, right, and a Dodge Ram pickup hat, okay? You can do this without money or fame. You need this to sink in. Because those of you who have a negative attitude on leading with your, your thought process that's destructive or assuming failure before you even begin, that's going to hold you back. So, let's dive in. Okay, the very first thing that we have to discuss is what do you do when you say hi? Okay, when you actually say hello to a woman or when you say I'd like to meet you or when you say you look like the type of woman I would want to get to know or you look so intriguing, right? First off, you have to talk. Everybody knows this, you're going to have to say hi, you're gonna to have to say hello, you're gonna to have to introduce yourself. This first checkpoint is so important and I'm going to explain why. On the top of this straight line method, okay, on the top of it, we have everything that happens on the outside, okay? Everything that happens on the external. These are the words that you're going to actually speak into existence. So when you say hi, okay, on the outside, think about this, on the outside you're conveying all of these internal traits below. Everything on the bottom of this straight line is going to be the things that you need to be showing or feeling in any way, shape, or form on the internal. This is going to be the sub-communication. Stick with me, this will all make sense in a second. So when you say hello to a woman on the inside, what this is registering towards her is this is going to be registering things such as confidence, tonality in your vocals, and happiness. Okay, if you seem like a genuinely happy guy, that's going to register as somebody of status or potential strength due to the fact that most people are in such a low destructive mindset and behavior. If you can actually come across as a happy individual that's confident, it's a dime a dozen because it seriously is that rare. Now, for those of you who want to get better with your verbals, this is so important, but what's even more important is going to be her reaction on the flip side to when you say hello. Now here's what dictates her reaction, okay? What dictates her reaction is if you've been putting in the work as a man. So this, what, right, what, what dictates her reaction is gonna be things like your looks, right? Maybe the amount of muscle mass you have. Overall, just your, the masculinity in your physique, right? Maybe how lean your, lean your face is, lean your body is, okay? So this is so important because not only does it display confidence and tonality, the correct way when you approach a woman and you say hello, I'd like to get to know you or I'd like to meet you or you look interesting. But fellas, you have to understand that there's a flip side of the equation to this and the flip side is going to be her response. Her response is dictated based off of how attractive you look physically. If she finds you unattractive and you say the perfect thing, you're going to get rejected. However, on the flip side, if you say hello and you say the perfect thing, and she likes what she sees in front of her, that's going to dictate to you getting to point number two. And we're gonna discuss, discuss point number two in a second. For those of you who are in business, I need you to think of this such as the method of the product versus the pitch, okay? What is the pitch? The pitch is the vocals. 
The pitch is how good you are as a salesman, right? The pitch is you conveying the message of, hello, I'd like to get to know you. But in retrospect to this, you have to have a good product, right? The product is you. If you're selling yourself on the initial interaction, you're the one engaging her in speech. The product is you and you have to back up all of the things that make you you and it has to be dialed in. This is why there is no substitute for the work. You can say the wrong thing and still get by if you look as if you've been putting in the work and she finds you attractive, you can buy yourself time. This is why not only do you have to master front end game, but at the same time, you have to master the attractiveness that it takes to convey the right message. This is point number one. That's how to say hello. Front end game is a seduction and the intimacy you can convey through your words. So point number two, okay? Point number two, everything that happens above the line is what happens on the outside. This point number two is where you flirt. Okay, what are the things you're going to be doing anywhere from one to five minutes into the interaction when you find out where she's going, where she's headed, what she's doing? You're gonna do flirting. This includes things such as teasing, this includes push pulling, and this includes tension. Right, what is push pull? Push pull is like a cat and mouse game, right? You guys are back and forth bantering. And this is so important because what this shows her is that you're okay with having that sort of interaction. She starts to see you as the type of guy that she could potentially be intimate with. She starts to not necessarily put you in the friend zone category, but all of a sudden she's putting you in the category of, hey, I'd like to get to know this guy. Why? Because this shows underneath, right, the internal traits, not the external, not on the outside, on the inside, this shows congruency, okay? This shows that he is who he actually says he is. And not only that, this shows a green flag, right? If a man is congruent on the inside with who he is and with the messages that he's conveying and she can tell it's not an act. See, that's the thing. The difference between real confidence and false confidence is that real confidence, it's not an act, it's actually who you become. Your second step is once you've, initial, once you've initiated some sort of conversation, you've got to know her just a bit in the beginning. You want to start to add context to what you're saying and add gestures that push, pull, flirt, and tease. If you can do this, you're halfway to getting a number, you're halfway to getting a date, you're halfway to potentially getting a girlfriend, you're halfway to potentially getting the wife that you want one day. All of this is so important because guys, it seriously doesn't matter how big your bank account is. It doesn't matter what you do for a living or how on your purpose you are. She doesn't care. If you can't spark the chemistry with the front end of your game, you will lose. And I don't think anybody's boiled it down to a science like I have. Because of this, we're gonna now move into point three, okay? What is point number three? Point number three is you're gonna to start to interject some sort of disqualifier. What is a disqualifier? Well, a disqualifier is something like, I'm testing the waters to see if we'll get along. I'm not sure if we'll get along, right? What's cool about you? And notice you can only say these things in a socially calibrated manner when opportunity has presented itself or else you're going to come across weird. I can't write the whole narrative for you. You're gonna have to get out there and approach and talk to people so that way you can write your own narratives for yourself. When you have a disqualifier to a, a woman that you're, you think is beautiful, what you're saying on the outside Okay, you're saying that you're not sold easily. You're saying that you're not won over too easy, right? And not to mention you're not won over just through beauty or through looks alone, and you're actually the type of man who can make good decisions in life. Far too many men get tangled up with the types of women that they don't have proper chemistry with, but because there's physical attraction between both of them there, they stick it out and it ends up as a disaster and it ends up as a nightmare. What this is saying to a woman on the inside, notice not on the outside, on the inside, because it's below the line, on the inside, this shows a woman that you have standards, you can probably generate options for yourself, and you're not thirsty. Why is this so important? Because it says, hey, I think you're gorgeous, I think you're beautiful, but I'm not won over as a man just through looks or beauty only. Because of that, there's gonna be, have to be more to you. Right? This can be how sweet she is, how kind she is, doing nice gestures for you, offering to uh, continue the date or the interaction with you. Anything that shows that there's more to her, 
is going to be good positive traits. If you see those good positive traits, the key is that you can now progress to step four. However, if you, if you throw this disqualifier, what you have to be willing to do is walk away and actually hold your own. Once again, it can't be fake. And this stems into point two when I talk about congruency. If you're throwing a disqualifier and you're saying things like, I'm not sure if we're going to get along because you seem X, Y, Z, right? Maybe she seems feisty, she seems angry. If she says, well, that's true because I am, you have to be willing to walk away or else she senses that you're a fake. Okay, here's the cool thing is when you're actually willing to walk away and leave the interaction because these standards that you set for yourself are tried and true, nine times out of 10, that woman's going to want to fit your frame of the interaction to not necessarily look like she's going to miss out on a, on a good deal. Okay, and that's going to drive into my last point over here. Point number four, the last point to front end game is going to be her pursuit. Okay. The reason why on the outside you want to see these things, you want to see the woman playing chase with her words verbally. You want to see her reaching for that handhold. You want to see her maybe touching your shoulder. Things of those gestures, what it's signaling is it's signaling, hey, you're the type of guy I'll break some of my rules for. Maybe I have rules to appear like the, the, the good girl who's hard to be won over, but guess what? I have FOMO now when you show you're willing to walk and this unlocks her deep desire. And what this does is it makes her want to prove herself to you. And this doesn't have to be anything extreme. I don't want you to have a negative connotation with this, like prove yourself like you're making somebody work just so hard for you, just, just for the, the heck of it. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that these little things, these little gestures, not only create adequate intimacy and tension, but I'm going to tell you one thing, the biggest driving factor for a woman, to want to continue to get to know you and want the interaction to progress is FOMO, fear of loss, fear of missing out. I will give you an example. Women hate missing out on fun opportunities. If you have a woman who has to have attend work at 8 a.m. and her girlfriends call her at 1130 and they say, hey, we're going out and we're going to be out till 3 a.m. and it's Sarah, Becky, Jessica, Ashley, and Megan, and all of us are going, you don't want to miss out, do you? She's going to say no, and guess what? She'll probably go out with that group of her girlfriends. Even if she's only getting four hours of sleep and she has work the next Monday, why? Because that FOMO, that fear of missing out, it's very hard for her to say no when there's urgency and scarcity. If you can use this, right? If you can use point number four of getting her to pursue you now have unlocked what I call playtime. And playtime is you guys get an actual date. You get an actual phone number. Maybe you guys actually go back to your place. Maybe you continue the interaction and there's intimacy. But this straight line process is exactly how you run front end game. Keep in mind, she doesn't need to know your in-depth occupation. She doesn't need to know your purpose. And quite frankly, she doesn't care. She needs to know that you're a fun guy that she can have fun with. And if you can do these things, not only will you secure the date, but you've now attracted the type of woman that you want. Now keep in mind, this is not enough to keep a woman. And that's everything that has to do with back end game. But I've had so many suggestions, so many requests in my comments box to say, Casey, what is front end game? How do I do it? Okay, if that's you, and you're wanting to continue this understanding of female nature and front end game, I highly recommend you right now going down below and registering for the men's MBT masculine behavioral technique webinar. I show you the only four keys that a man needs for the rest of his life to not only attract, but keep the woman that he he's always wanted. And I just shot this live presentation brand new for 2022. So check that out. Step number two, if you're wanting to work one-to-one -one with me, I want you to go down below and book a call with my brother Cole for the men's full stack one percenter program. And last but not least, sign up for the Headman Nation newsletter so that way you get updates and exclusive access to everything that I'm doing inside of Headman that is only available to my email list. Guys, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.